Hey y'all, how's it going? So today, before we get into everything, um, I came to the house and I was told I received a box. So, <laughs> um, so this is from Pauline. Um, she's just uh, said that she's had some odds and ends that she's had for years. And um, just a few items that she collected at uh, flea markets that she wanted to send them to us. So thank you, Pauline. And let's take a look here. So I kind of already looked a little bit just to you know see what we're kind of working with. Um, Magic erasers, <laughs> always come in handy. Let's see, move these to the side. Ah, okay, so here is a Houston box. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a fragrance, I don't know. And then inside is a um, powder. It's a dusting powder. It's called Evening in Paris. So, yeah, it's not, so I think it's just like a fragrance powder. <laughs> so, put that back on there. Keep the powder in there to give it a little wipe down. And uh, got a couple of cleaning items. Oh, there's another there's more magic erasers inside here. So, a little cleaning guy. Let's see. And then this is the rest of the Evening in Paris set. So it's got a talcum powder, a uh, perfume, a little mini perfume. And then, I don't know what this is. Cologne stick. Okay, so this is a perfume solid. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that pretty? That'll look so nice on uh, my vanity wherever I decide to set it up. Super neat little cute box. Let's see. Oh, and then this looks like a little makeup bag. I love this. This is so pretty. And then inside, kind of opens up. It's got a little, oh, it's a Vaseline. Wow, I wonder when this is from. Oh, it's still got some in there. Wow. Huh, yeah, this looks really old. Interesting, put it back in there so I don't hurt it. Some more magic erasers, a little microfiber cloth, there's some gloves, <laughs> some little uh, like dishwashing gloves. Always come in handy because I always tend to put a hole in those. So, Move some things out of the way here. Couple of books. Oh my gosh, there's pills. Coriza CC tablets. They've got Ammon, chloride, quinine, camphor, belladonna, and aconite root. Um, I'm pretty sure aconite is like a poison, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> and they used to just put anything in medicine, right? Just like, hey, just throw whatever at it. That's super interesting. That'll look really cool somewhere in the house. Let's see, a couple of books here. School Reading by Grades, Baldwin, Baldwin's Reader, second year. Let's see when this is from. It's from uh, American Book Company, New York, Cincinnati, Chicago. Oh, it's got a name in here. Willie Oswald, Janet Oswald, Clyde, Ohio? Ohio? Let's see, what's the date? Oh, wow. Phyllis Oswald, Clyde, Ohio, April 30th, 1905. Wow. Let's see when the actual 1897 copyright. Wow. Huh. Okay, and there's another book here. Let's take a look here. It doesn't have anything on it except on the spine here. Ray's Algebra. Part one. Oh boy, I had a great time in algebra. <laughs> oh, and somebody did a, some little math there. Did I say 1861? Oh my. Wow, this book was published in 1848. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. That's really cool though. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I want to save this stuff for last. So then there's a, uh, a Lovell and Covell chocolate masterpieces box. This is really cute. And then it has a listing of everything that was in there on the back. Standard masterpieces. The assortment in this package contains a whole lot. <laughs> Hand rolled orange, 
Filbert butterscotch, Filbert cluster. Filbert, is that, is that a Brazil nut? I'm not sure what kind of nut that is. I know it's, it's like a name for something else, but I can't remember exactly what. Pineapple cream or pineapple in cream. Hand rolled coffee, that sounds good to me. Y'all know I love coffee. Genese fudge. That's funny because here in St. Louis, Genese, Genese is like a really cheap beer. <laughs> okay, so then here's the little gloves and another microfiber cloth. And then the stuff that I'm really excited about here. Oh wow, this isn't an old shoe box, but it's really falling apart. I can show you all the top real quick. Queen quality shoe. Look at that. I wonder what kind of shoes came in there. So we've got a hairbrush. It's like gold and uh, black with a cameo on there. That is beautiful. And then there's a matching mirror. Look at this. With an even bigger cameo on the back. I wonder what this material is. It's kind of, it's um, very thin. I don't know if you can see it's kind of coming apart there, but the, the backing is very thin. So it's not like a stone of any type. I wonder if it's like Bakelite. I don't know if this is like before that. Let's see, we set the brush here. Another sponge. And it looks like a letter opener that matches the set with the handle. So pretty. And oh, a little compact. Oh my goodness. So it's pretty plain on the outside, just gold. It looks like there was something there that came off. Look, it still has powder in here. I've always wanted something like this. So it's got a little blush. And what's this one? It looks like that was probably a blush too, probably a lighter shade that they liked more. I've always wanted something like this. That's so pretty. You could take out the old makeup and put something new in it. Just take uh, the pans and clean them out and then put whatever I want in there. It says it's Mondrain, Mondain, New York, USA, Paris. Mondain, yes, New York, USA. I wonder if there's a date. There's not. Another sponge. <laughs> And this little box, it's empty, but there's a lady on it. Wow. Really, really love this set. Like, that's just amazing. I won't ever use this because it's delicate, but it would look beautiful sitting out. I'll probably have, um, like, a fake vanity, you know, like a display one. Because we, oh, oh my gosh, how did I totally forget um, that we bought an Art Deco set? <clears throat> at a uh, estate sale last year. I'm pretty sure I've showed that in a video, but it came with a vanity. So it's not the kind of style that I would use. Like it's very, like you can't pull up close to the mirror with my glasses, I'm very nearsighted. So I have to be really close to the mirror to do my makeup if I do. And it's, you just can't get close enough to do so. So that'll probably just be a display somewhere. So I'll use these things on there because I don't actually ever use them. And they're just there to look pretty, right? So. Yeah, thank you again, Pauline. We really appreciate all this. It's gonna be great additions to the house. The books are amazing. And uh, yeah, everything's gonna look really great on that vanity. So thank you again. And uh, let's get into whatever we're doing today. We're gonna talk to Caleb and see what's up. <laughs> okay, so um, this is what Caleb is up to today. And uh, he would like me to clean this light here. And he was like, where do you want me to hang it? Do you have anywhere in specific that you want me to hang it downstairs? And I was like, well, you know, just wherever uh, has good lighting. Literally the darkest corner in here, but way back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just bring a light down here, but oh my goodness. I don't even know how I'm going to clean this, y'all. I'm nervous. And it, he would like me to rewire this, but it's kind of got the same problem as the lamps where inside here in the arms where light, you know, the wire does come up into the light. It's got that stuff, you know, holding the wire in there. So I don't think I'm going to be able to rewire this myself. So I don't even know. I need to do some research into uh, lighting restoration places around here. I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, and we had people saying couldn't see the star. <laughs> oh, I know. I didn't even know until I got home and looked, uh, started editing. So here's the whole tree. Here we go, bit better lighting. Probably gonna get worse up here. See, of 
crooked star. <laughs> There's like a um, a long bit. Oh my god, I'm blinded. <laughs> a long bit there that we stuck it on. And uh, it's just kind of migrated down even further, so it's beautiful. Okay, y'all, so I am very tired today. It's been a long week of holidays and work, so Caleb put me on uh, cleaning the uh, glass that he would like to use for the gasolier in the front hallway because I think we're going to get that up pretty soon. So he's got these shades that he got with another light that have like a fleur de lis on them and then like a column and a wreath. So I've got eight of these to clean, so I'm going to clean them up real quick, get them all dried up, and we'll see how they look afterwards. You can see they're kind of dirty there at the bottom. They just need a quick wash up. So let's get into it. are so cold. <laughs> I'm trying to polish this and it's like nearly impossible. Um, I don't know if Caleb mentioned in his video that uh, something's going on with the boiler so we can't have it on and I am cold. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just powering through here. <laughs> but um, so it looks like the dirt, the dirtiness that I was talking about is like etching. You can see around the ring there etching from like being in a light fixture for you know however long it was in there so it'll be in ours anyways so i just want to get these cleaned up and uh polished and dried so it looks really good at least they're in really great shape all the etching is still there and everything opened up a second box of uh, lights. I don't know why I was expecting to see four more of these because <laughs> the gas light side is much bigger, like the, the places where they sit. So those are these. So I guess they go together pretty well. For now, at least, I think that we're going to look for something that we like a little bit more. I really like these. Not, not so certain about the bigger ones, but just need to polish these small ones real quick and then we'll get to washing the big ones.
so here are my finished shades. So these are the big ones to go on the gas lamp side and uh, the little ones for the electric. Really like those. Get y'all a better look there. These ones, eh. I'm going to replace them for them. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I found a Caleb. He's sitting here having a sit. I've been in the background, I think, your time lapse whole time. <laughs> oh, no, I know, but I mean, like, you're, you're you're very warm and my hand is very cold. I'm freezing. I'm tired, y'all. I'm going to go and take a nap. Caleb's going to keep working because he's, he's a strong man. That's not that cold. Oh, my hands are, like, freezing. <laughs> freezing. And the water that I was using wasn't even cold. The water that came out of the spigot downstairs is actually kind of warm. Like, not warm, but, like, not cold. Maybe there's a volcano under the house. Nope. Like, like that movie. Yeah. <laughs> What movie? Volcano. Was it under the house? No, it was, was under it? the La Brea tar pits. It, well, it counts. Okay. There was a building there. People could have lived in it, theoretically. All right. I don't know. He's in a goofy <laughs> mood and I'm exhausted. I'm sure y'all can tell. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm very tired, so I'm going to go home, take a nap. Caleb's going to put up some more cameras. That's great. Yeah. So. Or camera. So we will see y'all later this week, okay? Bye.